Hey there, a bit of a windy day here on the south coast of Turkey. That is the Mediterranean Sea out there. I'm in some town, I'm not sure exactly where I am. I am on my way driving from Cash, where I just stayed the past five nights. Really lovely little uh, town there. And on my way to Antalya, I'm not sure where I'm going to stay tonight. Things are open, I haven't booked a hotel yet, but as you can see, I have a rental car. And so I thought that I would make this a how expensive is Turkey video. The rental car there is $33 per day. And if I drop it in Antalya, there's an extra $33 charge. So that includes insurance and everything. Great deal. I filled up the tank because it was at just a quarter tank and it cost 230 Turkish Lira. That's about 30 bucks to fill up the tank. I'm not exactly sure of the per uh, liter or gallon uh, price, but that seems like a good price for uh, almost filling up a whole tank there. Turkey is in general very affordable. The Turkish Lira is about eight to one to the US dollar. One dollar will get you about uh, eight Turkish Lira. So I'm going to uh, keep on cruising here and head next to Olympos, which is a beach about an hour's drive away or so from here. And I think it's kind of like a, a hippie uh, scene or something like that. I'll find out when I get there. And then from there, maybe keep on going to Antalya, but I'll just see, probably uh, find some nice spots along the way and show you more of this amazing South Coast. Here is a obviously not very touristy spot. Big long beach here. Not sure why it isn't more popular, but uh, I think it is just because there are more beautiful places along the uh, coast here, including where I was in Cash and Eludanese and Fethiye and Marmaris. And uh, there's a lot to see along this coast. There's tons of ancient, you know, Roman ruins. That is actually my objective to go to Antalya and then from there go see some Roman ruins on the other side. That will probably be in the next video, maybe uh, tomorrow. So anyways, let's uh, hop in the uh, car there and keep on cruising. So two lira to use the restrooms there. That's about 25 cents. I was just driving along and saw this. A random restaurant and I am hungry for some lunch. So let's see what they got. Definitely has a bit of character. Kaya restaurants, wherever this is. Fethiye. Olympos, that's where I'm going, 61 kilometers. Where how about it? Here is okay? No? Here. Touristic village. Okay. Yes. The 
main village is uh, up, up, up. This, so this is Yazir. where Yazir is the Yazir village. Name, of, name of the real village. Okay. This is the touristic part. This is where most of the hotels are? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I should park here or uh, I, the, the, the beach yeah, is where? a little farther? The beach is, uh, I think, about five, 500 meters something. Okay. And, and he, there are some park places, yeah. And you're going there? I should take you to the beach? We are very close. Okay. Just tell me when you want okay, to get yeah. out. I'll, I'll drive down to the beach. Yes, so. so those were some hitchhikers that I just picked up a few miles back there. They are staying here and then doing various day hikes around the area. And so I'm almost to the uh, beach and as you can see it is a pretty cool kind of alternative uh, beach hangout area with lots of young folks and not your typical over commercialized plastic neon light kind of a uh, place and apparently there are some uh, ruins they said some kind of ancient ruins here as well So the question is whether or not I should stay here tonight or keep on going. The uh, one little problem is just not great beach weather. So uh, I might just keep on cruising to Antalya, but... Please keep your tickets during the trip. Ticket controls on the beach in returns. So this ticket, I guess, gets me into both the archaeological ruins and the beach area and it was uh, 30 lira that's about four dollars not exactly sure what's going on how far of a walk this is or whatever but uh, can't be too far so I am here and it looks like the ruins are scattered all along here I guess this is the sea Hellenistic Roman Byzantine not sure what that is Based on its name, the city of Olympos was established during the first years of Hellenism, or Greek culture, in Anatolia. Olympos must have been a Doric colony, such as Phacelus, in close vicinity. Lycian cities made up the official Lycian or Lycian League in 188 BC, which was approved by Romans after they had sent ambassador to Rome on behalf of their own union. The earliest written evidences Related to the history of Olympos is obtained from the coins of Lycian League. The archaeological data on the existence of the city in the Hellenistic period is the city wall which dates to 300 BC. One of the six important cities in the Lycian League. So this is a old, old site.
Çok çektik burada. Sen senin en az 35 tane var. Ya burası son bana This is quite a spectacular beach. It goes and goes and goes that way. All right, I'm just going to uh, take a swim here. Relax a little bit and then keep on driving in that direction towards Antalya. Get there probably in the dark tonight. This is Hadrian's Gate. The old town was established between the years BC 159 to 138 by Atalos, the second king of Pergamon. And so I parked the uh, car and now have a walk because the place that I'm staying, I guess, is inside the old town. Here we go, walking through Hadrian's Gate. Here we are, Antalya. I started over there. Cash. Stopped at Olympos. Going tomorrow? Over here. Roman ruins. Some of the incredible things to see in Turkey. I want to go to Ephesus. Haven't heard about that Carian Way. There is the Lycian Way that goes along the south coast, starting in Eludenes. That is Eludenes, where I started this trip. And what a view right from there, looking down on right where I was hanging out down there. I didn't realize the trail was just right up there. And Cappadocia, one of my favorite places in the world. St. Paul Trail. Taurus Mountains. I've heard about those. That looks spectacular. Aspendos. So I think that that is one of the places I'm going tomorrow. And Olympos. 
Oh, that's Tremesos. Olympos is where I just went today. Tremesos I've been to before. Previous trip. I'm at the ancient ruins of Teramisos in uh, southern Turkey near the city of Antalya. This here is the theater. As you can see quite clearly here. Pamukole. Hey, brother. Hey, man. We have a um, channel. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I yeah. follow you, bro. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm originally I'm from Brazil. Oh, okay, great. So, you live in Turkey then, or? Yes, I come to live here because it's only the only place that right now is open. Yeah. Everything oh, but you're you're just traveling. But you're I you come, still you still no, live in Brazil. I come to live in Turkey and stay here. I see. I was in Indonesia before. Ah, okay. But South Asia right now it's BS. all closed up. Yeah, it's, it's all closed. Yes, and it's dangerous. Here is a mix. You have everything. Yeah, yeah. I just I've been in Turkey two weeks and uh, it's really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where where have you been? In Turkey, yeah, just staying in Antalya. Yes, I, I rent a house for one year. Oh. Very cool house. I see. Uh, One hundred eighty dollars. But cool eh? per month. Cool per month. Per month. I see. Yeah, good, but good one year contract. So that was Mark from Brazil. Nice guy. He has an apartment for a year here. of Antalya is definitely looking like a nice spot. I've actually been here before, back in 2009, but I don't remember it very well. Pretty ultimate nightlife scene here. So many restaurants and pubs. Gastro pub, Dublin. And I think down here. And a quick room tour. It won't take long, especially when it's only 13 bucks a night. Kind of small. You get what you pay for, but it'll work. Great location. Seems nice and quiet. Tap bathroom. Going to take a little break and then head out and uh, get a little taste of the uh, night scene out there. And check out this feast. This is a beef mushroom pesto crepe and a Mediterranean salad. Glass of wine. Let's do it. 